Well, it looks like our big lots here fell victim to the economy. Everything's 20% off in the store. Howdy y'all, Michael here. Today is Tuesday, October 15th, 2024. I took the day off work. I am headed to the Great State Fair of Texas and I am so looking forward to this. So come hang out with me. station here and uh in Carrollton and got on the dart rail so we're on the rail waiting for this train to leave and look my friend Nancy here all right Nancy and uh okay. Gerald's over here and we're going to introduce you another person there's Nancy's sister Jane Jean. uh Jean Jean I told you I was going to mess it up did I know so <laughs> We're going to head to the fair here. Here we go. Train made it to the fairground. 1936. That's when that building was built. Maybe yeah. on in. I'm on foot, and everybody else is gonna be racing away from me here. <laughs> <laughs> I thought about getting one, but $75 is a little steep for me. Might have been worth it. I, mean, I need to walk. We call these hamabouts. <laughs> Because every ham show has them as well. And uh, there's a little bingo game that we play. You see a ham about, you get to cover space. If you see a ham about running over somebody's foot, you get another space. It's always lots of fun. So I got my tickets. I paid cash. And uh, Jean over here paid cash for her tickets as well. Gerald handed me his card. And I said, this one, I want 40 and uh, she gave me $140 for the tickets. <laughs> so she had to credit it back and she chewed me out over it and then uh, $40 uh, charged again. Yeah, she chewed me out. So I asked you, I'm like, I couldn't hear you. I said, yes, 40. There's nothing like that to really, really frustrate you. It's just a miscommunication and uh, no need for an attitude. It is a mistake. It was a miscommunication. The so. nice thing about these hand bouts is Gerald's carrying my stuff. All the batteries and the, uh, extra wires and cables I have for this event in his basket. Nancy's telling me I need to look at this stuff and put this in the video. Very art deco. A lot of these buildings were built in the uh, 30s. So, uh, looks like they're uh, doing some metal work here. But there is a lot of... Uh, a cool, lot of cool art around here, let's just say that. Went straight to my favorite area, the cars. She told me to film the deal, and I lost my team already. Should have brought radios. I thought about it, and I didn't. Now I wish I did. Nancy's in her John Deere right now. You gonna pick it up? It's got air conditioning in it? Or at least heaters or something. Yeah, because look, it's got a 
That's pretty cool, Nancy. Buy me one. <laughs> you can ride that thing all through your farm. What's the sticker price on it? So this is the XUV 835R. It's talking about this chassis right here. It's even got a little backup alarm on it. Make a little RV out of that thing. That would be awesome. Oh, wait, this is the hybrid. It's a plug-in hybrid. There's the plug right there. I guess that's the battery packs there and the engine. Oh wait, is this the one that Eric was talking about? Where it's a uh, it's a diesel engine, but the diesel engine is not connected at all to the uh, propulsion part. These are all electric, and those are the battery packs. So the diesel engine keeps the battery pack charged, and it's pure torque coming off electric on the wheels, and you can plug it in. So your engine's not gonna be running the full time. That's pretty cool. This is a, a locomotive, a train locomotive. The diesel engine only powers, and creates electricity to power the wheels. That's what that is. That is an electric motor. It is icy cold in here, but I'm not complaining. <laughs> it's not bad at all. This is the EV Blazer. I had a Chevy Blazer, I liked it, but man, it had some mechanical problems. But this one's a uh, EV, it's all electric. 141 miles on it. Looks like it's got a separate dash over here. Kind of cozy in here. Kind of high up here too. These vents are pretty cool. 63% charge. That's another blazer. I like the color right there on that blazer. That red, it's pretty. I like it better than that red. It's kind of a little darker marine red. Now this is a uh, Chevy Equinox. Oh, there's the bigger screen right there. I think that was also the blazer. It just wasn't lighting up. This is a new hybrid. I haven't seen the Silverado EV RST. That's been 440 miles. It's a standard uh, Chevy pickup, but it's a hybrid. Oh, it, it's an avalanche. That's the avalanche. My brother had an avalanche. So they're bringing this back. But look at all this. Uh, got a third, got a 420 amp. The one I'm guessing that might be a 30 amp. But it's, but it's set up like an avalanche. Not bad. Not bad at all. It's pretty cool for an EV. Panoramic sunroof. OnStar and the full display here and a Bose sound system so 754 horsepower 785 uh, pound of torque 50 pounds of torque 200 kilowatt lithium battery also has super cruise so that's pretty cool i want to sit in one of these broncos i i'm not had a seat in one of these yet my gosh this is a step up oh my gosh okay it feels like a jeep it really feels like a jeep in here there's no power to it but here's your uh lock locking and locking areas uh, traction control oh my gosh that was a step you got little uh things to hang on to so this is an off-road vehicle for sure no power to it you got your aux uh, switches here and you can take the roof off it looks like right there but oh my goodness um i like it but i gotta figure out how to get in and out of it because that is a jump that's that's me hanging off the seat here that one is jacked up quite a bit compared to this one it's uh 
down low to the ground. That's more reasonable. That's the Bronco Sport right there. And that's the Bronco uh, Badlands. Oh, here's what I kind of miss. And I know people bag on the Ford Mustang, but this one is beautiful. Look at that. It's a it's a automatic shift. I would get a standard. Got a special order of those. But I'm gonna I'm gonna try this one off for size. Okay, we got power. Go! I bumped my head on that. Oh, I love the logo in here. Yeah. Oh, this is not electric. So I would have to buy 74.8 miles on it. I would want a standard shift. This kind of car, I want a manual shifter. I love this thing, but it's the wrong color. Ceiling's kind of short. Let's see if I can show you my head height with the ceiling. And it's, I can't even turn my head sideways there, so you're in pretty tight. Very tight. I like this one with the 5.0 in it. Exactly. 57,785 is the MSRP. But gosh, I would have to have a manual. I could not hack an automatic. So obviously you can tell I like cars. I'm really into cars and uh, uh, that Mustang was beautiful. The only thing I would change on that was to put in a manual shifter. And they still honor, uh, honor but they still manufacture with that, but it's usually a special order. So, But right now we're going to go to Fletcher's Corn Dogs because that is, uh, their claim is they invented the corn dog. There's a lot of people that claim that. But in Texas, uh, it was invented at the State Fair of Texas, the corn dog. It's the original State Fair corn dogs. Yeah. By the way, there's big text right there. See him back there making them. This is my corn dog. There are many like it, but this one is mine. And it's hot. That's actually one of the best corn dogs I've had in a long time. That's pretty tasty. Oh my gosh, that's so good. Then you have fresh ones over And corn dogs go. That is the best corn dog I've ever had. And oh my goodness, I inhaled mine. It was so good. I've had corn dogs at fairs and stuff before, but I don't recall getting one here. But the corn dogs was eight bucks and the coke was five bucks. So I paid thirteen dollars for a drink and a corn dog. Ouch. Now next year I might do the hammer bells, but man, I need to get some steps in. Oh, it's got the Yellowstone logo here. Boy, it's kind of dark in here. It's the Dutton Ranch. Port. And there's a bit of a haze in here. Plenty of Shiner. Shiner's a big Texas drink here. The original famous fancy biscuit. I got Golden Chick out here, but that's a that's a chain restaurant. Chain Toss Pizza. A little Tucker shop over there. Some cakes. Cotton candy. Some tamales over there. Barbecue, funnel cakes, crepes. Cheese, the Frittura, no farms. They got Japanese sandwiches here, strawberries, kiwis, ham and egg, classic sando, fried sando, and drinks. I haven't seen anything real weird. Got a fried bacon cinnamon roll, crawfish bread, deep fried love. So you got the fried brownies. Fried uh, arroz con leche. Is that beans? 
with milk, cha cha cha, and fried chocolate tres leches, which is a free milk cake. Over here, you got cheesecake on a stick, and those are the different cheesecakes you can get. That looks heavy, looking at the pair from the distance and the gondolas here. But they're not running. Go find the, the place got all the good stuff. Well, it's all the good stuff. I think we need to go left. Are you talking like embroidery and stuff, or what's your good stuff? That, and we need to find Sandsville. Yeah, we gotta go left. So, Sandsville, oh, that's a jewelry guy. Yeah, okay. that, they have it. Alright, lead on. You gotta crank it up. I'm waiting for her to run over someone. Yeah, it's Midway. I never got into playing Midway games. Didn't want to part for my money that quick. This is the Cotton Bowl. It's inside the State Fair, so. During the UTOU game, this place is crammed full of people. But fortunately, it's not going on now. In fact, during the game, the park seems a little empty, but as soon as they let out, man, they are shoulder to shoulder all around. This is where all the good stuff is. Deep draft is 7.83 place. 7.83 place. 7.83 place. Yeah, that's what I heard. You ever heard of that? No. Oh what is that? The earth resonates at 7.83 hertz. Oh. Huh. Well, give you a little deal for you on your leg. So. Nancy, where's the good stuff? Where's the 7.83 place? Oh, I know. Oh, the fudge cup in right there. Should we make the perimeter and then go down the middle? Oh, there's some concealment boxes. That's kind of cool. All right. Lead the way, Nancy. Don't run over anybody. Oh, almost had some bumper cars here. Oh, Nancy's brake checking Gerald. It's got a key card and it opens it up. Uh, we got a small one. Everybody's got room for one of those in the camper. There's always a weird spot by the front door that's only got a wall that one. Yeah. <laughs> that's very cool. Yeah. Thank you. I appreciate it. What's the name of your company? We are American Grains USA. American Grains USA.com. So if you're interested in this, uh, scan that QR code. It's veteran owned. Appreciate American that. Grains. And if you guys do sign up and join the newsletter, between now and the end of the show, we will be giving away this Pledge of Allegiance flag at the end of the show. Oh, very, very cool. Appreciate that. Thank yeah. you. This is Nancy's favorite booth of all. She comes every year. She makes a special trip to the State Fair just for this booth. There's all kinds of uh, turquoise jewelry here. Looks like he does a lot of other things, but that's her favorite, is turquoise. Yeah, they got a leather company out here. And tell me, can you smell this booth? Definitely a strong leather smell there. We're just admiring some of the furniture here. And it looks like that uh, recycled uh, plastics, the composite. But man, I do like this uh, high top fire table. That would be really nice in your backyard, Gerald. All my Lego friends out there, these are all wooden made yes. Lego bricks. Patented as well. So, uh, is this your company or? Okay. So, I, okay, very cool. Very cool. So, you can disconnect any Lego to this. And the best part about wood is you can actually color on it. So, you can make it your own creation and then integrate it with your other collections too. So, we do sets that are fully customizable and then we do sets that are already pre designed for you. Okay. So, uh, how can my viewers get a hold of some of these? So we have a website called once-kids.com and then we do custom work too. So we also do um, custom work on our bricks, which we have a QR code right here. So make sure you take a picture of that. All right, so if y'all are interested, 
Custom work? Yes, we do custom bricks as well, custom orders. We just did a big one for the Texas Pediatric Society. Oh, very uh, so, cool. Yeah, we do tons and tons of things. Yes. So, we've been doing this for 12 years. Oh, very cool, very cool. Okay, this place right here is called Whiskey Morning <laughs> Coffee. Sir, you have my attention. So this is the uh, whiskey or the bourbon barrel whiskey coffee. Yes, sir. Okay, <laughs> it's a little more pronounced, uh, pronounced flavor than I was expecting. It's our family's distillery slash distillery. Oh, really? And we're out of Granberry. Well, what's the name of the distillery? Sledge. Sledge. Okay. Yes, it's the black bag smoked in the common cherry wood. And I'm spilling it. Yeah, man. Mm, that's pretty good. Do you have an yeah. online store? Yeah, whiskeymorningcoffee.com. And then we're also on Amazon. Okay. That's delicious, folks. You need to try that out. We're trying different flavors here. Yes. And uh, I'll trust you because I can't see it. Wow. So you're you're a Canadian company or I'm uh, guessing? Iowa. Iowa. So are you harvesting from Iowa or? Yes, we're harvesting from Iowa. We're northeast uh, of Iowa in Virginia. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's So it's a great river, maple. And it's pure maple syrup. Pure what? Pure maple syrup. Pure maple syrup, okay. So um we tried the the uh, maple cream. That was delicious. That's dangerously delicious. <laughs> Try the spicy. Man, that, that is awesome. I mean, it's kind of a slow burn. I still feel the heat in my mouth from it, but it kind of creeps up on you. You get the sweetness, and all of a sudden you start feeling the the slow burn there. It's not it's not too spicy, but it's got a little bit of the kick. And we tried the coffee. The coffee was pretty good. I'm pretty impressed with that. Would you like step by others? I think I think we're good, but yeah, I like I like the spicy. That's my favorite. It's between the spicy and the maple cream. I got purple mattress over there. And the joke was uh, the state fair is more expensive to Disney once you start buying the mattress and the massage chairs. Oh, here's some outdoor kitchen setups here. Some high-end ones. I wouldn't mind having a setup like this. That's what you need, Gerald. It even has the fire table right there. Love this bar right here with uh, the griddle and the grill on the back. And speakers up front. A kit to age your own bourbon. And then kit to age your own bourbon. You're going to start with, with a moonshine you can find at any local liquor store. It okay. only takes four to seven years to get a decent bourbon. That's five days. Oh, wow. So we give you a screen to start tasting on day three, because day three to four is the same as Woodford Reserve bourbon. Would you like to smell it? That's fine. So we give you a screen to start tasting on day three, because day three to four is the same as Woodford Reserve bourbon. Taste it, do you find something you like more? Pour it into another jar. This came out of this on day five. Okay. Now you have a used bourbon barrel, fill it with a high wheat vodka. Day 10 to 11, start tasting. By day 15, it'll be close to McAllen's 12 year scratch. Pour that out, then you can use the wood chips to smoke meat or fish on the barbecue. 35 each, buy three, get one free. They give jars, 30 each, buy three, get one free. Last gallon, 135, gift baskets, gift boxes, and beach kilts. Okay. It's a new product we came up with, all the wood comes to my farm. Bourbon, when to taste, how to taste, using the screen. Step two is the scotch. Which high weed vodka we tested, what day to start tasting, and step three, smoking on the grill. You're welcome to take a card. These are eight of the 65 moonshines we tested. Okay. Which you can find at local liquor stores. You are welcome to take a picture of it mm -hmm. because it is not on Okay. So, and I'll just show you Whiskey and a week the done. QR code here. Yep. If you're interested, uh, take a picture of this right now. And he's even in the logo, so very cool. Appreciate it, sir. Thank you. And that's probably what I need, but I have no room for it. Some workout equipment. They have cotton candy bacon on a stick. Still walking through this building here with all the good stuff, as Nancy calls it. They got dinosaurs at the lagoon. 
And they got some paddle swans out there. Paddle boat swans. This is my jam right here. Freaky ferments. Hot sauces. You need three for $25. That's actually not a bad deal. Patty. All right. So which one's your favorite? My personal favorite is uh, ginger cayenne lemons, good on rice, ramen, chicken, pork, and seafood. Okay. Our most popular though is our mesquite smoked jalapeno. It's uh, really good on breakfast food, Tex Mex, and barbecue. I'll try it with you. And then our uh, second most popular is roasted sweet. It's like a spicier sriracha. Okay. Garlic, roasted fries, and a little bit of honey. Okay. So I, I'm not a big sriracha guy, but I, I love something with heat that yeah. kind of that has a slow burn that goes for a while. Yep. So. Um, so yeah, let me try. Let me try your favorite. This is a really solid cayenne pepper sauce. And it's got on rice, ramen, chicken, pork, and seafood. All right. And all of our sauces are fermented. So just use uh, salt on everything. Throw it in a barrel for a month. And let it sit. Process it. <laughs> I was expecting that. <laughs> Those cayenne will get you right in the back of the. <laughs> I did it. Took my voice right away. Yep. But that is good. <laughs> I actually lost my voice on that one. Oh my gosh. It was good. But I actually felt my voice being ripped away when it happened. <laughs> oh. No, it's not It's not like it's burnt. It, it, it's got heat. It definitely has heat. But I wasn't expecting my voice to go away like that. But, uh. I might have to come back and get a bottle of that. That was pretty good. Honestly, it was hot and it caught me by surprise and it took away my voice, which was, which was kind of trippy. But um, the flavor is lingering in my mouth and it is a good flavor. So I might go back and get some of that because that was really good. I wasn't expecting it to be that good. Okay. So, and the, the ring. Oh, Don't forget the, your ring. Okay. Put there you go. Uh, it's just getting set up. Again. This is for And th this is Sam. How are you all doing? Good, how are you? Sam, uh, Sam's the owner here. Oh, here we added. We added? What did you add? I put this bracelet on. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. And that goes with these bees. Look at this. She has a wonderful face, this lady. She's got... Her style is amazing. Did you hear that? My style is amazing. Your style is amazing, Nancy. I mean, she really gets the clap. Isn't that beautiful bracelet? Yeah. No, you really have beautiful taste. And that, that's why we work hard to bring good stuff. This is an old one. This is vibration. And that's when, when did you take it off? Oh. And you wear it to hook it up. Mm -hmm. That's from the 70s. That is not me. This is the sun face, and this is done by Penny Ration. He's an artist that was made in the late 70s. And this is the Sunface Cucina, and it's got it has he's carrying his vase with the like a pottery. It's a seed pot, and that's for prosperity. And the base itself to carry on the dancer, and then you can just take him off, and we put him on a necklace. And these are two collectible pieces. Okay. And you could, and then he'll be happy to be added to your collection. No, but my my collection doesn't need that. What is this? Oh, that's oh, oh. Uh, the seed pot. Okay. Like the seed pot he's carrying. Right. Yeah. yeah, so. But, Sam, I wouldn't wear this. Yeah, you wear it on your beads. I know, but yeah. I wouldn't. I, you won't? I, I, yeah. just, I just know myself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That is not something. I love it, but it's mm -hmm. not something that I would wear. It's, it's an artistic in a way, yeah. Because, you know, where do I go? Hmm. Well, that's why ham radio have... meetings. Yeah, let's do that. But she wears your jewelry at all the ham radio meetings. Oh, nice! Yeah. So, and she tells us all about it. They, they all know. They all know about you. Oh, that's so sweet. So, Sam, do you have a website? Uh, yes, it's samsvillegallery.com. Samsvillegallery.com. We also on social media, Facebook, uh, uh, Pinterest. We are also on, uh, you know, all, all the uh, Facebook, call it, uh, Instagram, and she follows us everywhere. Yes, Socially. Yes. You, know who I, you know who I like to see on uh -huh. Facebook is, is her name Alice? 
Oh, Alice, yeah, with Alice Fisher, yes. With, yes, with all the yeah. jewelry. Well, Alice is like, uh, she steps out of the comfort zone and she really promotes it so well because she, she looks so good. Hair, she yes. wears necklaces on the front. In the back, yep. And also, what's her name? Aline Bar. Yes. Yes, Aline Bar mm -hmm. is also an amazing lady. Now we have some. I love seeing them yeah. on here. And that's what the ladies I meet at the movies. And you're not at State Fair without a hot tub. And this one's got an integrated uh, roof and it's kind of a hard plastic. It's called Tough Tubs. Those tough ones were pretty nice little hot tubs, but they weren't the smooth outer covering as like these are. And these are saltwater hot tubs. Now these I, I like a lot better. A lot smoother. And this pool fitness systems. You just keep swimming against the current here. Looks like they're actually selling them here too. Uh, that's a Texas hot tub company. Saltwater hot tubs. See, if I got a hot tub, I would want a big one like this one. You can have lots of friends in here. This one's sold, but <laughs> I neither have the place to put it or the money in hand to buy one. But this is pretty nice. It says it's salt system ready, but it's a fresh water. So you would uh, probably need to buy something additional to make it salt water. It's made by Heart Spring. But I gotta admit, that's a pretty cool lit logo on the side of it. Okay, here's one with the lights lit, lit up on it. it looks kind of white. You're starting to see a wave. There's not a wave there. It's just blue lights sitting there. That's just a camera trickery there. Just noticing that gazebo over there. It looks like you can raise and lower it. That'd be kind of neat. Looks like they got some tiny saunas here too. But they're not very big. If I were to have a sauna out on my land, I would want some size to it, if that makes sense. There's like two-person saunas here. So we're in the purple mattress booth here. And this one right here, it's about a $9,000 mattress. It's the Purple Lux Rejuven Rejuvenate Premier. So, it's kind of got a rubber grid here. I did not end up getting the hot sauce. I thought maybe later if I'm still... I just love hot sauces. And uh, that one took my voice away. <laughs> so that was pretty cool. They kept stopping looking down. I thought something was wrong. And uh, Nancy's looking for a brick. She's got a brick here at the State Fair, Texas. How long ago was it? Oh, years ago. There it is. Doug and Nancy Graff. Right there, there's Nancy's brick. How cool is that? I'm already burning through two of my batteries, so I got one left. So I'm gonna switch over to my phone for a while. But they got the Toyota trucks there. Those are actually assembled in Texas, down in San Antonio. Sir? The Hummer EV? All right, we'll go check out the Hummer EV here. Uh, where are we going? 121805 Base price is 98000 And this one right here is 110135 I was going to get into that one, but there's some little boys in there, and they're not going to be leaving it for a while. They're having fun with the radio on it. So I'll let them have the fun, but it's a little high out there to get up there. But Gerald? It's only 121,000. Yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> the, the, the little one is 110,000, so <laughs> a little bit. Gerald, why are you looking at that stuff? You don't like Dodge. So we're at the Toyota section. We have a little tracker boat here. Best Pros sells those. But, uh, Like I said, they, these Toyotas are built in Texas. Bill here, lives here. Got a lot of teams that have uh, trucks. There's the TCU truck, the Dallas Stars. Is that the 
Grizzlies? Who is that? Is that Baylor? That is Baylor Bears. Uh, Texas Rangers. And uh, over in the distance, if I can zoom in, is FC Dallas. I do have to say that the Ram trucks do have a good look to them. And here we go, van life, baby. The ProMaster chassis is used in a lot of vans for van life in 3500. Let's see if it's even open here. It is open. Let me lock that in place. See if I have something to grab onto. I don't have anything to grab onto. They got some straw farm out there. Definitely need to work on a step up there. But I am standing in this thing. And this is what you would start with if you want to build your own van. So the uh, Ram Promaster, the Ford Transit, and the Mercedes Sprinter are the most popular ones. 3,500 to give them the most weight you can in here. This is like level one is the Ram Promaster chassis. Which I would love to have a van to do some van life with. So you have like a bathroom area here. Like Winnebago, this would be a bathroom under 59G. The bed will be like a Murphy type bed that goes up and down here. Uh, you'd have a fridge here. And uh, your back seats would be right here. And then you have your front seats. So. And this is pretty much stock. This is just a cargo van. That's where you start with. But if you're looking for headroom, this has got plenty of headroom. In fact, uh, I'm not quite, let's see. That's me with my fist up in there, almost vertical. We're continuing on to the Portugal of Spain, uh, the hall of transportation. And yes, uh, cars and trucks and uh, transportation is a big thing with the state fair in Texas. And uh, this building that we're going into was erected in 1906 uh, by C.P. Smith, the mayor, M.N. Baker, and J.J. Eckerford, and Emil Fretz, and Bill Iris. So it's the park board that uh, helped erect this. So let's go check it out. Here's another EV company. It's called Lucid. Huh? I don't know. I don't think it's anybody famous. I think I've seen a few of them on the road. Not many. They have a very different style. I kind of like it. And they got the 360 cameras around the car. When I was uh, close the door here, you'll start seeing the, you'll start seeing my side here. So the camera's in the car door itself. So but there I am in the front porch right there. Lots of knives. I've actually seen this in another building, so they're at multiple locations, at least cut to the Huh? Mattress. Say again? They like the mattress companies everywhere. Oh, yeah, mattresses and picnic table on a swing. That is pretty cool there. And look, there's Mattress Firm. I'm glad we found Mattress Firm. We didn't see them anywhere else. Except about 16 other locations here. Holy cow. More showers, statewide remodeling again. Talking about saturation here. And it looks like we end with mattresses once again. Now, this is kind of nice. It's a golf cart, six passenger. It's called the Evolution. It's like the look of it. Can't tell you anything about performance or anything, reliability. $12,000. Cool. Is that turn signals? It might. I wonder if it's run to the I don't know. It is kind of nice. It's got a little digital display on the front. I know, stuff I would get into. But yep, it's got turn signals, headlights. It looks like a little microphone for your uh, phone there. 
and a digital display. Pretty sweet. Uh, there's a lot of things I would like. And this appears to be an Overlander setup van. So I'm gonna guess it's probably four wheel drive. I'm not 100% sure on that. But I do wanna look at it. It's a limited SC, 99,000. It's more of a transportation van, but it looks like they got four seats in the back, uh, two here. So that's six, seven, eight passengers. And uh, it looks like an Overlander outside. May not be four wheel drive, but it's Explorer. 100,000. It is. Well, it's not four wheel drive, it's all wheel drive. That's a little different. But. Not an RV, but more of a luxury travel without a bathroom. No bathroom, no kitchen, no nothing like that. It's kind of cool. Here's the Cummins display. And this is, this has been out there a while. The top is rusty. I think that's a fake rust on there. <laughs> Really old truck with a rather new looking Cummins engine in it. That's a big boy. Parts of it look new. Parts of them look like they've been around for a while. So, it's a 1989 Dodge Ram W3350 4x4. I don't know, that top looks pretty new. But the rest of it does not. We're just uh, getting some food here. And uh, it's usually a lot of quirky food out here. It's not as a big a deal as it was. It was. But good gosh, look at this. They got fried lobster here. And you get fried lobster tail with champagne gravy for 70 tickets. Folks, that is $70 right there. Nancy is excited come see this thing and we don't know what that thing is but uh gerald says it looks like he's smoking a cigarette or something is that a stogie or is he vaping vaping he's vaping that's it all righty nancy it made the video. Well, there is a plaque. It's the Texas Wolfus. So now you know. pair without a butter sculpture and this one is pretty cool it's got a donkey and what is that it looks like it's melting a little bit state fair runs about a month here so that pig right there is starting to crack up a little bit Find a uh, carbon butter. This is called. It's by Tom Roberts. It's called a truckload of fun. Texas logo there. Music notes. I'm trying to figure out what this is. Uh, 
And then there's a guy in the box coming out of the box there. Little flag. We're in the arts and crafts area of the fair. You know, there's been some buildings I've never been to. Go with different people and you'll see different things. It looks like anything and everything can be judged on. Some original uh, sculptures here. I like that one. It's got second place. And there's your first place. Marcy, this kind of reminds me of your jewelry, this right here. We were wire, wire wrapping the building there. Next to a pair of cowboy boots, we have a knitted armadillo. Here's a purse if you're uh, Doritos obsessed. But it's been expired. September 10th, 2024. Got all these tables here and I was wondering why. This is where they have the kitchen competitions. And I'm curious when this is. Because they got all the ovens and even the dishwasher over there. One uh, stovetop. I got a section here on photography. My goodness. That's incredible. Some rough and tough uh, rodeo there going into the dirt. But even better. Who likes funnel cake? Here's all your jellies. Jelly upon jelly upon jelly upon jelly. Here's your pickled items. These are uh, tomatoes. And I have been missing it this whole time, but these are all quilts on the top. Very, very detailed quilts. But Nancy's looking for the best in show quilts. They have another section of cooking, but this is more demonstration cooking. It's on the other side of where all those ovens were. Nancy finally found the best in show for quilts. And this is the 2024 Great State Fair of Texas Best in Show quilt. That is pretty neat. That is pretty neat. I love this. This is designer palms. And they have these palm trees right here with shower heads and water spigots. I love this thing. This is awesome. This is awesome. That is pretty cool. <laughs> you'll never know what you'll find at the fair, and these are true honey teas and the farmer direct, but I tried the uh, blueberry and uh, I've tried them all, but you have the hibiscus lemon lip, which is pretty flavorful. But the blueberry rubius was very flavorful. So. It's called True Honey Teas. I'm sure you can find more information if you uh, scan that QR code right there. If you want to know where we live, we live in the Prairies and Lakes area of Texas here. There's Big Tex right there. And I thought that thing was falling over. So 45,000 square miles in North Texas. We only get about 26 to 40 inches of rain. And I'm gonna say we're a little light on rain this year. Got these in my neighborhood. And these. No uh, river otters, no well, white-tailed deer just north of us. I did see that. I've got. I've seen gray fox, and I've seen I've seen skunks. I've got skunks and possums under my house. I've got white-tailed deer in the front yard, and gray fox on the front porch. But no river otters. No river otters. Yeah, I haven't seen a river otter except in the Fort Worth Zoo. There are tractors upon tractors upon tractors, and they're mainly all on John Deere. It's uh, fifty-one twenty. What is it at Jason? With a big bucket on in front of it. So we're at one of the Chevy booths and they actually have a driving course you can drive their vehicles out on. But they're wanting license drivers only. And it looks like it's going to be quite a wait to get in there. So some of these cars are uh, just coming through here. And this is an EV right here. But you're going to see it take off. Uh, this guy's taking it in general. Take it in general. But over there is pretty cool. They got a little off-road area, a lot of uh, bumps and stuff to go over. Some rocks, simulated rocks. 
but the car right before it just took off, burned some rubber, went all the way down to here, and that's when they started brake for the stop sign. that new uh, EV pickup that we were looking at earlier. Kind of reminds me of the Chevy Avalanche. And I missed the start of that one, but that was sweet. I missed it. I didn't even know it was setting up. Y'all should have told me. I was focused over there. Okay, here's a blue one. Let's see how this blue one does. He hesitated. He hesitated. He's like, oh. That's a definite no. Definite no. So Gerald and I are having the Mexican street corn pizza. And I'm gonna say this is pretty darn good. This was a surprise. We are hoping to see some livestock, but it seems like all the bins are empty. It is nighttime now. I think we missed a big part of it. Uh, I heard a trader full sheep there. But uh, is there anything left in there? Okay, so we missed all the cows and uh, everything else. We saw goats. A huge honking thousand pound pig. But I think that's it in the livestock. We just missed out. They're coming in tomorrow. So, I guess the farmers are on their way in to overnight tonight. So, Thursday, okay. So, it's going to be day after tomorrow. Yeah, most of the shows are over the weekends. Oh, the week see, I always went to the uh. The fair on the weekend, I guess, but it's been so long. We can see quite a few trailers down here. It just depends on. Oh, that's stuff for sale. Oh, th those are. Oh, okay. They're marketing trailers down there. Like different weekends, like there could be rabbits and chickens, and then goats and pit, you know, it's something different every. Year. Right. Lynn and Jim and. All those smoking competition guys, so they'll, they'll appreciate this. So apparently, this is just... Really? Oh wow, these are all uh, built by high school kids. That is pretty cool. So barbecue ticks. Right here, let me look at this. Look. This is the number. And on the back of here, that tells you where it's from, who made it, and stuff like that on each one of these cards. Okay. So if you need any information about them, that's what you look at for right now. Tomorrow, all the kids will be around and they'll be around their own stuff. Oh, that is very cool. Yeah. I guess we came on the wrong day, but that's that's yeah. very cool. This is really neat. Isn't it neat? That's really neat. And they built the trailers and everything, huh? Yeah, baby. Them some bad boys, too. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. What was I doing in high school? Not this. I know. <laughs> they, they, they take a while, and, you know, and they just take their time, and they make stuff. Uh-huh. Then they bring it to show it, and they get ribbons. Well, not ribbons. First, second, you know, places and stuff like that. They get money. I'm not sure if they, if they sell it for a certain amount that day. Or if you contact them, you know, All right. after the fact. I don't know. 
Well, I like the designs. I'm very impressed with that already. Yeah. So. Yeah. So. They even got a. You see that one right there? That cat on meals. Uh -huh. That green wolf. That's right. That's like a rescue thing. It's got all the electrical stuff, the generators, and oh, okay. all that stuff on a wagon. They, that is very cool. That that that's my passion is emergency management. So yeah, and all of that's on there. And then they got one right out there. Uh huh. What, you know, you know when you're planting crop out in the field, right? And you have those irrigation things spread huh. it out, and water comes out of. Right, right, right. That's what that is right out there. Okay. Yep. It's outside the thing. They couldn't bring it in. Yeah. too big. Yeah, it's too big. <laughs> But well, that's incredible. I thought this was just commercial stuff. I didn't realize. Oh, these kids, like she told me they were from the third grade on up to high school. Okay. But I just can't say who's school right now. Very cool. Know. And what is your name? I'm Deborah. I'm Michael. Good to I'm meet Michael. you. I'm Michael. Pleased to meet I'm you. Good to meet you. Well, I hope you guys get to come back tomorrow. Uh, well, well, I got to go back to work, but uh, this is definitely, this first time I've been here since my 20 year old, I took him and he was in a stroller and uh -huh. then I had my toddler. And now they're 25 and 20, so oh, okay. so it's been a while since I've been out here. So yeah. it's nice, it's neat. I mean, who ever thought these is high school? Well, third grade on up. Who ever thought that? That's amazing. That truly is amazing. Wow, they got some bad barbecue grills over there. <laughs> they call smoking, rolling and smoking. I think I'm rolling and smoking. Out. That's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> All, right. All right. All right. Thank you, guys. Yeah. This is amazing. I am blown away by this. They said third to uh, third grade on up to high school. There's a cattle gate. Now what that's for? A little pig pen there. That is an, okay. I don't know if they did all this, but all this back here. No, they did all this. It has numbers on here for the competition as well. That is incredible. That is absolutely incredible. I think this might be a deep fryer. Maybe not. No, it's not. It doesn't go down. Some smokers. This SB. I'm really not sure what all of this is. I'm not sure about that. But it's a little fire pit there and you can rotate it in and out and drill your steaks. A little thing up here. Maybe grill on top of here, it looks like. It's not a regular fire pit, it's got a griddle on there. So it's gotta be that. Got bricks down there. A little place to cook. Here's a grill. Where you keep your firewood, and there's your uh, your firebox and your smoke here. And made by Martinez. So the smokers and grills and fire prints on oh my. And there's a spit. Is that a spit or oh no, that just raises and lowers it. This one's got a blackstone grill. A deep fryer and a smoker. BCTAL FFA, AG Mechanics. Oh, look at this one. This one, it's got character. I like this one. I like the scorch marks and everything on there. Kind of gives a, uh, um, I don't know, um, far cry. What, what, what's that? What's that game my, my son's always uh, playing? Fallout 4. Fallout 4, that's what I meant. A little smoker with the grill. Or with firebox. Another one. And this one, this one's incredible. A fryer, a griddle, and a big old smoker. And there's a smoke box there. Man, I like that one. You can hear the uh, band starting up here, getting ready for the parade. And I think we're missing the parade, it's down there, but we're gonna try to get there as quick as we can.
one thing's for sure there weren't that many people out here i count what two or three yeah maybe four people out here it's pretty bad when you can feel the person next to you breathing and <laughs> of course i whip out my camera and we finally get a gap <laughs> Well, you talk about that kid that ran right behind me when I was trying to get out of the truck. Right yeah. Oh, we got fireworks too. That's kind of cool. All right, we're in a very, very full train heading out. It's nice being the first one on the truck on the north side because when you come down to the south side, uh, uh, you have a seat. Yes, I'm talking to myself again. <laughs> Nancy, of course. But coming the opposite direction is a very, very full car. Of course, I'm standing. I'm being careful. But uh, learned a lot of things this time. It, it was like it's been what almost 20 years since I've been. Probably 15, 15 plus. Yeah, that's right. That's right. <laughs> but uh, it's a lot of fun now. Little t uh, tips to know: uh, one, uh, the. Uh, Scooter rentals for any five dollars, and uh, they loved it, and it saved them a lot of time being able to see more stuff with that. Uh, two, prices are going to be different in different foods. You may find a Coke at one for five dollars, and another will be six. Uh, and uh, beers can be eight dollars, nine dollars, and ten dollars, or more, depending on what you get. Most expensive thing you saw was that lobster, that fried lobster for seventy dollars. But if you have tickets from previous fairs uh, last year the tickets were 50 cents a piece they're a dollar a piece this year but if you have tickets from last year uh, it counts the same so you're actually getting half off on everything if you use last year's tickets but it's been a long journey we're on our way home and uh, I'm gonna leave these people around me alone so I don't know what I'm doing but I'm having fun doing it but for now I'll take care be safe yeah bye zippers that Nancy and her sister got uh, they were in the main section for $13 a piece and refills are $4 a piece so her sister brought one from years ago and Nancy got a new one and then we went into the midway where they sell the uh, pizza the uh, what the, the lote the Mexican core pizza and they were $10 for the zipper and $3 to refill them so, just a little extra tidbit there for you.